So let me talk about the engine first, since that is uh, something that even the Prime Minister mentioned in his Independence Day address. We are in the process of uh, finalizing a program with a leading international engine house to co-develop a 120 kN jet engine entirely domestically produced with full uh, IPR to be held in India. That is uh, hopefully going to go to the top levels in government soon. It's a DRDO proposal, but uh, of course we are all part of that exercise so that will happen and but, but that will take about 10 12 years to you know about eight years to prototypes and another few years thereafter for certification etc so that process is on uh, is underway through the you know the through the various government processes given the huge amounts involved uh, on Kaveri uh, I think the decision that DRDO has made is that since they have not been able to achieve the requisite thrust to weight ratio, they will use it for their UCAV program. Hopefully that will uh, enable them to license that technology to private sector partners who participate in some of our UCAV tenders, one of which is out right now, which is for the male category drones. A mind-boggling boggling number of uh, 24 Indian companies with Part, various partners have bid for that tender. I cannot believe, frankly, that all of them have that kind of capacity to make full-fledged aircraft, uh, albeit un unmanned within the country. But yes, there is a very robust response, and we hope that we'll get very credible at least two uh, companies or two consortia building those 87 male category drones in India, and thereby creating this larger ecosystem of sophisticated drones. Have I answered all your questions? Was it something else? What the so CBS the delay part. Spoke. Oh, yeah, the delay part, yeah. So I don't want to, uh, I mean, when I talk to HAL, I will obviously, you know, go after them about the delays, but in a, a more sort of uh, open forum, let me say that the delays are not only by domestic manufacturers. Uh, you, you've seen the S-400s getting delayed because of the conflicts. Israel orders, also many of them are delayed because of the conflicts that they are facing. There are supply chain issues which have affected them in, in the context of the general electric engines that they've been uh, having to wait for. So yes, all of it is not uh, solely attributable to our uh, indigenous uh, manufacturers, but yes, I mean, there is a tendency to overpromise and under-deliver. We will need to start cracking down much more, apply LD clauses much more, and in the current round of uh, emergency purchases that we are doing, we've actually taken a very tough stand that any, de any case where delivery is uh, not done within one year will all be foreclosed, and I intend to sort of ensure that that is done. So irrespective of who it is, which company, which country, we will foreclose every contract after one year, Hopefully that will, those kind of decisions will start bringing in some level of accountability when it comes to delivery milestones.